no, no, no. I like you, you know. I, I, I want to have you. <laughs> I want to make your chicken at <laughs> Tandoori. You, you know, uh, you jackass, I like your ass. I need the ass for the whole line. <laughs> the funny thing is you're the only one laughing. Uh, yes. The funny thing is that I'm making fun of you, so you are not feeling oh, laughing. Are? But I'm How, are you a lot. Fun? How are you making fun of me? How are you making fun but of keep me? Keep laughing on your face. <laughs> like, keep you're laughing, laughing on, your on face. my face? <laughs> yes, on your ass, on your face. <laughs> Have you gone crazy? Super nice. Yeah, I'm crazy. Do you, you want to see are. crazy guys? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, Duality 9Xers, wherever you are, whatever you guys are, welcome, welcome, welcome. Guys, I've been wanting to do this video for quite some time, and um, it's, I know we've been doing a lot of videos, you know, on paranormal, on creepy, freaky, scary, you know, anything that goes bump in the night. Uh, those are all great stuff you know it's uh, actually that's that's my niche right and that's that's kind of what I like to react to but there's another thing that I've been thinking about for a long long time and I'm like so how do I do this how do I incorporate this type of or this genre of content into what it is that I do and it um, it's actually not that hard because we're we're all kind of like pri we're privy to this and we're privy to what's going on, and in some cases some of us are even victims to it as well. And I'm talking about scammers. I'm talking about those annoying calls that you get on your phone, those annoying text messages, hey, or emails like your bank has been compromised, or this is the the tax revenue department and. We got a package for you. If you don't call us, then you're going to go to jail. Like, come on. Like, you know, or or your telephone. I mean, they're getting really smart, right? They're actually take you know, cut copying images of your cell, uh, cell phone provider, your mobile service provider, or your bank. And then they're sending you these emails and saying there's a deposit that's, you know, pending, waiting for your authorization. Now, first of all, first and foremost, nobody... Okay, nobody's going to be sending you those kind of messages, all right? If they want to get hold of you, they're going to get hold of you through legitimate means, all right? They're not going to be sending you text messages, you know, with all that information that they shouldn't be sharing in the first place. And and rightfully so. The only people who would be even disclosing that information or uh, sharing that would be scammers because your banks, your cell phone provider, your internet phones provider i mean any uh, even your utilities right the utility vendors and providers they're not going to be sharing that kind of information that's proprietary uh that could potentially get into the wrong hands just open and free like that they're not going to do that so um there's a, there's a there's a, a youtube channel that i follow uh by the name of scammer payback and you guys might have seen his videos uh, he's doing such an amazing job in trying to expose these people, the, these operations, and, and, and to try to give you a glimpse into their world, into what it is that they do so that we don't fall victims to these kind of scams. And I've seen it firsthand. I've, I mean, including myself, you know, I think we've all lost money somewhere along the lines. And if you haven't, then congratulations and kudos to you. But there's a strong possibility that somebody in your neighborhood or somebody that you know within your social circle of friends or family may have been scammed at some point or another. So to you know prevent these things from happening, I think it's really important that we showcase people like you know these channels like Scammer Payback and to be able to show you guys that hey, you know although there's a lot of bad stuff that's happening in the world and there's a lot of people who are constantly uh, scheming up these ways and plans to be able to scam like good honest hard-working people like yourself out of your hard-earned dollars but there's also good people like scammer payback who are on the offensive and wait till you see this video wait till you see the kind of things that he was able to expose and what they're doing so please definitely guys if you haven't um, I mean, if you guys are new to this space, smash the like and subscribe, comment. I'd love to hear about, you know, what you guys think about this video. And at the same time, subscribe to Scammer Payback and follow his videos because a lot of, you know, it, 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 these are the kind of videos 
that I, I literally need to have a notebook and a pen and, I, and I'm actually writing things down as I'm watching because there's a lot of valuable content that he shares. So uh, without further ado, guys, let's get to it. That's how these scammers go from this. There are some suspicious activities going on in your Amazon account. To this. There are $30,000 transactions was made on your account oh, for no. a fraudulent transaction to a website. I've got a $400 charge from Amazon that the scammers turned into a $30,000 charge from an adult website, which honestly isn't really surprising because these guys are a little strange. Why is my camera open? It's off. No, it's not. I can see it. No. All right, look, guys, this call has a lot going on and the scam might be confusing to you. So I'm going to break everything down for you. This is the email I received. The phone number I call connects me to the first scammer who accesses my system, tells me I've been hacked, and transfers me to the fraud department. This scammer's job is to remove the hackers and transfer me to my bank, which is misleading because he uses the real bank phone number for part of the scam. Welcome to Chase Business Service Line. Now we're connected to the bank, AKA still the scammers. Here's where the big pivot happens. Once they see the amount of money in my bank account, these greedy scammers say there's been a fraudulent charge of $30,000 from an adult website. Now these scammers are getting a little cocky, so later on we're going to retaliate by accessing their system and deleting their files. Let's get into it. Thank you for calling support. This is Alicia. How can I help? I have a... Um... Okay an email about a charge to my account. It says, thank you for contacting Amazon. There's a laptop that's mm -hmm. been purchased, order 404-435. All right, Mr. Uh, Mr. Zero uh, Miss Betty, I can understand, Miss Betty. <laughs> zero five one five seven. order placed on. Guys, uh, sorry to interrupt, but first of all, whenever you're talking to a customer service department they're not going to be interrupting you like that they're not going to be busting attitude with you uh because usually these calls are monitored and that could be grounds of like an early dismissal for that employee they're going to remain professional to the best of their ability and that's their job so that's a red flag right there when this like this individual is trying to interrupt him and hold on hold on hold on they're not supposed to do that they're not supposed to talk over your voice let's continue april 14th what i'm just going to do ma'am uh, it seems like someone has to amazon account okay because uh, as i can see from my side there are some suspicious activities going on in your amazon account and that suspicious activities is there are three people who is trying to log in into your paypal uh, your amazon account from last 48 hours okay oh so what God. i'm just going to okay. best well that's not yeah good. what i'm just going to do best for you oh, i'm just going God. to connect you to our amazon secure server directly okay? okay so after that our technical department will remove all the hackers secure your personal details and cancel the charge and refund your money okay, okay yeah because just do i not would to like worry. to have the refund as soon as possible just do one thing just open your desktop and open your google in your desktop you just need to click on the search bar and type there any desk a as an alabama oh well um unfortunately the microsoft guy had me download that i already have that on my system oh i think the hackers will have your any desk he's using your index and after that he's trying to scam with you no he's not scamming me oh I want to explain something really quickly to everyone because a lot of people ask me like, well, why do you even say another scammer? You're kind of giving it away. You're throwing the scam bait, but I'm really not. It does the opposite. So if I tell a scammer that I've been talking with Microsoft and I had to send the money, it really kind of legitimizes myself as a victim. So the scammers are actually really excited about that. And the idea is like, hey, if you've already been scammed one time, then we can scam you again. Okay, just you open I mean? that, your any desk. All right, I opened any decks. And I'm just going to transfer your call to the fraudulent department, okay? Just so you're not going to work with me? And ask, no, I'm working with you, okay? First of all, the fraudulent department will remove all the hackers and cancel the shot. After that, I'll definitely talk with you, all right? Nice to talk with you. So Bye -bye. frustrating. So she's been trained really well. Typically, if you get on the any desk, you can get on their computers really well. But this one was not 
allowing it. Thank you for holding the line. Your call has been transferred to me. My name is Alex. How are you doing today? Hi, Alice. I'm sitting here. I was talking with a lady. She had me download any mm-hmm. decks. So I'm just mm-hmm. kind of sitting here, Alice. I'm supposed to be receiving funds back into my Chase account. No worries. We successfully secured your information and connected with secure line. Okay. Let me go check on my Chase account and see, honey. And ma'am, this, this is the first time you are facing this problem or have you ever received these kinds of things before? Because as uh, Alicia mentioned on the your case ID, like you already got scanned from some people. So could you let me know how did no, I haven't been scammed. I, I have not been scammed, no. I, um, I had some issues on my computer and um, uh-huh. I... I accidentally owed some additional money to Microsoft, but I haven't been scammed, no. All right, ma'am. But the best thing, I can directly transfer your call to your bank, all right? In order to transfer this call to your bank, ma'am, can I tell me the toll-free number of your bank, a customer pay number? I guess I have the, the Chase technical support. Yeah, you can help me with that, ma'am, so I can directly transfer your call to your bank. All right, guys, please pay attention because this part's really important. So... The scammers are really going to the next level with adding this bank element where they'll have you look on the back of your debit card to call your bank up or they'll have you search on the internet for it. They're going to here right now call up the bank and go through the automated system and then transfer you over to just another scammer that pretends to be the bank and it elevates the scam and legitimizes the scam even more and confuses the victim even more. The scammer in this situation makes a little bit of a mistake by letting the automated system run too far but Typically, when they run this bank part of the scam, it works really well for them. And uh, right now, I'm transferring your call to your bank till the time we are fixing your problem, okay? And uh, you need to follow the IVR of your bank and follow the instructions, okay? Okay, honey. Welcome to Chase Business Service Line. Para español, oprima el asterisco. To report your debit card lost, stolen, or damaged, or to report unrecognized charges, press 8. To speak to a customer service specialist, press zero. Before we connect you to a customer service specialist, please enter your debit. Thank you for calling Chase Bank. This is Steve. How are you doing today? Fine. How are you, Steve? Uh, may I have your first and last name for the verification? <laughs> yes, it's Betty Reed. And um, please verify me the last of four digits of your account number. Uh, my checking is 6969. Thank you for this verification. As I'm going through with your account right now, ma'am, I can see here the Microsoft guy whom you had a word, okay? They hacked into your account and now there is a fraud transactions made on your account uh, for uh, thirty thousand dollars like there are thirty thousand dollars transactions was made on your account oh, for no. a fraudulent transaction to a website which is www.hub.com was the transaction made farm by you what what about a farm? website graphic graphic website oh which is www.hub.com I'm 81 dot. years old honey I would never go to that mm-hmm. <laughs> oh Okay, that's fine. Right now, as I'm working here, it shows that that this transaction, okay, the transaction is going to deduct from your account within two hours of time, okay, two business hours. So, I want you to just go to your bank and withdraw your $15,000 from your account first. Well, I thought, what about $30,000? I thought you said it was $30,000 on the farm website, uh, what farm something. That's right. But it doesn't allow to withdraw all the money in a single time. Okay. Oh, the that's brand right. doesn't allow. Yeah. Don't you worry. I'll help you with everything. Okay. Now, well, what do you see on your screen? Just Yes. The scammers want me to take out $15,000 so that the hackers can't get the money. And really what they're worried about is another scammer taking the money from me or from them so they don't get paid. And sometimes they'll frame this in the idea of like, hey, this is a safety deposit box we're sending it to or we're doing a dummy transaction. Now, we don't really get that far because the scammers start to get pretty creepy. So the call ends, but I'm going to be calling them back so I can get some retribution on them access their system, and delete some files while exposing a lot of their data. On the search bar, just type camera. Type camera there. 
type K. In the search bar, bottom left. Yeah. Hold on one second. I need to use the restroom. I'll be right back. They're trying to, they're trying to access this camera. I have them muted right now. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to come back and I'm going to say, ask why my camera is open. Why is my camera open? Tur turn that off. Uh, it, you, I just uh, off your camera now. It's off. No, it's not. I can see it. No. You can see it? Okay, now no, it's it just done. Got, it's, wait, are you on my computer? How are you on my computer? Because the Amazon guy, I sent an email to the Amazon guy to get the access in order to fix it. Now, just do on your, see on your screen. There's no camera, I'm right? I'm in a robe. Yes, the camera thing is still loaded at the bottom. I'm in a robe right now. I'm not no, going on the camera. This is very creepy. It's close. No, it's not. It's, it's at the bottom. I see it open. <laughs> okay. okay, let me help you to close it. It's wow. closed? No. It's closed? Your bank wouldn't be doing that, guys. No. There's Don't no way. Don't come in front of the weird. camera. All right, this is, I'm going to call my son. This is no, very, no this company is very odd. That you're doing business I, with. I'm calling my, that. I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'll call you guys back. I'm calling my son. All right. Um, so this is what they'll do is they'll get their victims to go on and then show all the stuff on a camera. And then they take video and they want the proof. They want to know before they give any other information away. Hello? Yes. I'm looking for I want Alex. Your sister. I, I, I'm I'm looking for your sister. Or I'm your looking aunt. for Alex. No, I'm looking for your aunt. Why? <laughs> what, why are you talking like that? No, uh, because you know you're a very good scammer. Huh? <laughs> okay. What's your what what's what's the channel? I wanna just subscribe you. What's the channel? What's what? What's your channel? I wanna subscribe you. It's Grace's cooking. So what do you do over there? I make I make Indian food, <laughs> like pani puri, tandoori chicken. But what would you like a lot? Like okay, the most? hey, listen to me, bad tamiz insan. Okay, <laughs> listen for a second. He just yes, swore yes, at the I'm listening. at the scammer. Okay, louder. What's so funny, louder? Uh, uh, I'll put Lola in your ass. Yeah. yeah, louder. What's so funny? Apologize for this, guys, but I'll this put is what Lola they do. in your ass. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> you're so funny. You feel it funny, oh, you're so handsome. funny, Randy Kalavka. Thank you. You are funny. Van uh, Kilori. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, one thing. You're like gonna write. What is disc account? part? What is, what is disc part? Someone's writing disc part. Oh, hey, disc is not recognized down. as a command. <laughs> it's not recognized. Oh. Okay. Uh, by the way, where are you from? I told you I'm yeah. on Grace's cooking channel on YouTube. Uh, Grace's cooking channel. Let me search. Yeah, search it Can on my computer. Can you spell that for me? G uh, you as in Gadu. <laughs> R as in Randy. C as in Charlie. Chut, yeah. Oh, okay, okay chut. Uh, e as in Echo. Grace's cooking uh -huh. channel. The first one, yes. right? The You're very first one. See, I told you I make. Guys. I I told you I make Indian food. You are, are you an oh, idiot? Oh. Uh, no, no, no. I like you. You know, I I, I want to have you. <laughs> I want to make your chicken <laughs> tandoori. You you know uh, you jackass. I like your. Ass. I need the rest. For the whole line. <laughs> they don't even know what they're saying. They're the funny thing is, you're the only one laughing. Uh, yes, the funny thing is that I'm making fun of you, so you are not feeling oh, laughing. Are? But I'm How, laughing are you a lot. Fun? How are you making fun of me? How are you making fun of me? Keep laughing on your face. On, <laughs> keep you're laughing, laughing on your on face. My face? <laughs> yes, on your on your face. <laughs> Have you gone crazy? You're nice. Yeah, I'm crazy. Do you, you wanna you see are. crazy guys? Okay, can you just let me know one thing? Uh, you just created the very, very good fake account of uh, Chase account. How do you create? Like, do you like work on websites or do you create websites? What do you do? Why would I tell you? <laughs> yes, now it's your real voice. So how are you, man? I'm wonderful. Oh, that's great. Uh, to be honest, I'm just doing my work. You're doing your work. So nice to meet you guys. What's your name? Uh, what's your real channel? I can also follow you. Well, where, where are you if from? If you want to. 
I'm from India. Well, of course you're from India. I know where you're from. Yeah, I'm I want to. I want to know exactly where you're from. Uh, I'm from Bangalore. Do you work with uh, the yes. other, the two other females in the mm-hmm. apartment? Uh, no, no, no. There's only one female, one male. Like she, he has a female voice. Tum juti like, ho. I know that. Ju- Tum juti ho. <laughs> the girl who's working over here, like she was forcing me. No, that's a real customer. I was already aware about it. Like yeah, you're doing you're it so fake. Aware. You are using voice yeah. changer. Yeah, I was so aware. aware. Like the way how you, the way, <laughs> the way how you were, you know, confident with yourself. Like I cannot catch you. The way how I was confident that you are doing some prank, right? So making YouTube videos. Confident. Video. I was aware. What do you mean? Confident? Yes, I. Uh, it means that I was aware about it. Like you're using fake account. You're using all uh, the you things. You must watch all fake. the YouTube channels. You watch all the scam bait YouTube channels, don't you? And you're doing a nervous laugh. I don't uh, know why. Like you're doing. A, like a, you think a I'm nervous? Do you think I'm nervous? nervous now? And so the the reason why you're saying, oh yeah, and you exit out, yeah. That was weird. Thank you for calling Amazon. You're speaking with Patrick. How can I help you today? Uh, hi, Patrick. I was just on with Alex, actually. Um, he was on my system helping me with some... Uh, there was a hack that was happening. No problem. I can handle up your case, okay? Can you open any disk? Uh-huh. You see a nine-digit number? Uh-huh. Yes. Can you please repeat that number to me? Yeah, I can. Sir, uh, what do you see now on your screen? Um, I just see, like, my desktop and all that stuff. So... All right, all right, all right, no problem. Okay. Just minimize any disk, open up your Google Chrome. Okay. Which one do you need me to upload? Google Chrome. Okay. Google Chrome. All right, one second. You have opened your Chase Bank account in front of Alex, right? Uh, yeah, it was Alex, correct. <clears throat> All right, sir. You need to log it into your Chase Bank first. He's deleting okay. files. So, right give me on. One second. Um, sure, sure. You just need to doesn't go to even your know what this guy's doing. What do you doing? see on your computer screen right now? I can see your regular window icon screen. Yeah, I just see like I see my icons and like all that kind of stuff, and I saw like the any desk. You know, I just need to go back to Chrome. Yes, get back to Chrome or your Internet Explorer. Okay. Where you were logged in uh-huh. into your Chase. Okay. Oh, it looks like I just got disconnected. Did I lose you, sir? No, we are connected, sir. I don't know. Mine says it's connecting, waiting for the remote side to accept request. Is that you didn't you didn't accept it? No, I have already accepted that, sir. Can I have your name? My name is Pierogi. Who's Guarav? How do you spell that, sir? G as in Guarav. A as in Amritsar. U as Umbrella. R as in Randy. A as in <laughs> Amritsar. V as in Victory. Like, I just had a huge victory. Who's Guarav? Guarav Bay. Could I speak to him, please? No, sir. Where is Guarav? There is no person like this. Yes, there the- is. I was talking to, I guess, to, to Guarav today. I was talking with him on the phone, and he abused me. So I got onto yeah. your computer, and I downloaded all your files, and then I deleted them. I have your history, your web data. I have your inbound call list. I have your Galrav Bay outbound call list. There's multiple ones. Those files are gone, where you're going to call potential victims. I have your call reports, exported call reports. I have your CDR Galrav.xls file. I'm going to open up all of these and look at them. So I want to talk to Galrav. He really pissed me off earlier. Mute Kanabankado. Hello, Mute Kanabankado. What do you mean, how did... Gaurav. 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 Sorry, I said Gaurav. Gaurav. Let's go, you freaking mess with me! You get your computer destroyed right there, okay? And we've got your information now, I've got your history, your web data, I've got all your little scammer files that you're running, we're gonna go through them. Gaurav. Gaurav Bay. This is the same guy that was laughing. This is the same call center. Same guys that were laughing 
laughing at me, abusing me, all that stuff. These are the same guys and we just got on the computer. We have all of your call reports. I've got them downloaded. That's why you download them first, baby. Don't piss me off, scammers. All right, Pete, tell me what you yeah. found in their files. All right, so two files that we found were really interesting because the first one's how much money that the operation's making, and then second is actually the browser history of the scammer. And they got some pretty gnarly websites they've been to, which kind of like aligns to the scams that they run. So it fits beautifully. Yep. But, you know, there's a lot that's on there. So. And the other files? The other files we will upload to the members for those of you who care. It's a little too much to upload on this video, but we're trying to protect some people. Yeah, y'all be safe out there. Please don't get scammed. All right. All right, guys. All right, guys. Um, there you have it. Pierogi Ness Magic, Scammer Payback. These guys are real life superheroes, okay? And I mean that. Uh, they have a genuine interest in trying to help the public and to provide and share their knowledge with um, with the average person, with like people like you and I, to, to alleviate and prevent from us being scammed as well. I've, I've fallen victim to a scam uh, in the past. Uh, I've, I've seen instances, I've heard of people, especially elderly people who may not be so savvy, tech savvy, on their computers and something happens, they hit a bad website, bad URL or something and it you know redirects them to another page, kind of locks their account and then they're like, oh my gosh, what do I do? And then there's a number there if you wanna, if you want this unlocked, please call this number. And, and that's where the horrors begin. And it just, I, I just can't fathom, I can't fathom, I can't understand how People can wake up in the morning, go to work with the intent of wanting to scam people through illegitimate resources and means, and they think that's an honest day's work. You know, when they're robbing that 80 year old grandmother or grandfather or a single mother who is completely unsuspecting and, and unaware that they're actually falling victim to a scam. I've, I've, I've seen some of uh, Pierogi's videos in the past where uh, they would actually get you, these scammers would, would get people to drive out to stores, okay? Um, and to get like Google cards, Amazon cards, gift cards, Apple cards, whatever, and uh, it, you know, make, making them do all kinds of stupid, silly things just so that they could scam this individual. It's so sad. And um, some of these people, they can't rebound. Once they get scammed of all that money, what do they do? What if, what if that was their rent? What if that money in their account was there for their rent? Right? What if it was there for all their bills or, or something important? What if it was their life savings? Now what? And these a-holes, okay, are out there. They have their own families. They've got kids. They've got, you know, and, and like, do they not wake up? Do they not, like, under, like, I, I don't know. There, there's a lot of bad people on this planet. It's, and I get so worked up. I get so angry. And um, I, I wish I could do something about it. And I will. Maybe, 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 I, I, you know, if, if there's an opportunity for me to help people like Pierogi, the scammer payback, so I can do my part, I, I want to. And I hope you guys do as well. And one of the biggest things that you guys can do right now is like and subscribe uh, Pierogi's channel, Scammer Payback. Follow his content understand get familiar with the kind of scams that are out there and 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 share this share this with your friends share this with your family your, the people that you know and care about because everyone needs to know because as i mentioned before there's a lot of people who are getting scammed on a day-to-day -day basis and some of them have been scammed to the point where they feel really embarrassed and they don't want to come out and share that information with anyone um because it's, it's just nobody wants to talk about it. Nobody wants to admit the fact that they got scammed.
and they lost money. Nobody. And there's nothing wrong with that. If you've fallen victim to a scam, then you need to call your police department. Okay? There's people that you can reach out to. Don't ever feel shy about that because it's people like you that can come out there and share this information. And you know what? By you sharing that information, your experience as to what happened to you, that might actually prevent from somebody else being scammed in the future. So listen, guys. Um, yeah, I, I, I watch these videos and I get so worked up. So I, I admire the crusade and the efforts of Pierogi and his team. Scammer Payback, they're doing a wonderful job. And you know, there's, there's a lot of other people like him that are out there also following through with this crusade and with just the one simple goal to be able to prevent these scammers from scamming more people. So get out there, like and subscribe and share. I hope you guys found this uh, video useful and I hope you guys liked it. Um, I'd love to hear your guys' comments. So, in the meantime and in between time, that's it. Another episode of Duality 9X. I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one. Thank you.